Hello Etsy sellers, it's an impromptu Etsy PSA video today. Etsy's gone and broken something. If you are a POD seller of any type, you're likely waking up to or going to bed to looking at your listings and seeing a red update required text box on all the listings. So after a bit of digging around, I found out the reason for this. The reason this is coming up is because in your shipping settings, for your POD provider, be it Printful, Printify, Guten, whoever it is, your shipping carrier is set to other. And Etsy doesn't like other, and they want you to, to, to choose a carrier with shipping time so that customers can see what's going on with their shipping when they want to buy something. So the solution to this is straightforward. You have to change other to the shipping carrier settings that are correct for the product that you're selling. But yes, there's still a problem. Thousands and thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of sellers are being affected by this right now. And of course, it's the middle of the night in the United States. I can't get hold of anyone at Printful to say, yeah, great, the shipping settings have changed, but what do I need to choose? So what, what is the, the correct um, uh, price to choose? Now, I believe Printify have address this um, and I think it's in a reddit post so you'll be able to look at that I think it says you've got to go and choose the settings manually now this is really really bad but you can bulk edit your shipping profiles but as I said I'm not going to do that yet I would advise everyone just to hold back unless you've only got a couple of listings a few listings then it's not the end of the world to do the work but most people with POD have got 100 200 500 a thousand listings um, and you don't want to go and edit a shipping profile until we know what we're edit editing it to. So the answer is other. If you know what to choose, choose it. I will put out a community post on my, um, on my, on my page to let everyone know what Printful say and any other information I can give. Whilst we're here, anyone fancy some unannounced updates and tips from me? Why not? We're here. Let's do it. Let's do some, let's do some tips. So Christmas is coming and you guys, I'm, I've released a Christmas video already about what to do to make more sales at Christmas. The biggest tip I can give you, and people didn't understand this, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through this again so you really, really get it. Most sellers make this mistake. When you sell Christmas items, let's say you were selling Christmas items last year, you would have sold the items, but if they didn't sell, you would have deactivated them. And if they did sell, you probably deactivated those listings. So the actual correct thing to do is if Etsy Christmas listings sell, and by the way, you should already have these listings in your store. If they sell, don't deactivate those listings. Don't switch them off when the season, Christmas season is finished. Let them stay in your store all through the next year, all through the autumn and into the Christmas season next year. And guess what will happen? Everybody's listings are in the same boat. So if you've made sales, your listings are going to pick up with quality score and visibility same time next year as they did this year. And all the people that decided, oh, I'm gonna switch my Christmas listings off, even when they made sales. And honestly, I would say 70% or more of sellers actually do this. They switch them off. They're gonna lose their quality score and visibility. So most sellers do this, so don't be one of them. Make sure your listings stay up only if they sell. If they don't sell, the correct procedure is deactivate the listing. When it gets to about sort of September next year, make a copy of the listing that, deactivate, that you deactivated, publish the copy and just delete the old listing. Then you've got a fresh neutral quality score listing in the next Christmas season and hopefully that listing will sell. Let, let me know if that makes sense. If you've still got questions on that, uh, put, it, put, put them in my comments. Now, second tip for Christmas. If you're going to do Christmas with Christmas related listings for customers to buy, don't get into the mistaken mindset that putting five items in your store, 10 items in your store, 15 is enough. It's not. Christmas is absolutely massive on Etsy. So the first thing, if you're going to do Christmas listings, they should be going into your store now. In fact, they should have been going in 
at the beginning of September. One listing a day, every day, would be good from the beginning of September. But overall, you want to be aiming for more than 10 or 15 listings across your store when you're doing Christmas or you're getting into Christmas gifts for people to buy. Um, as, a, as a broad range here, 30, 40, 50 or more products related to Christmas. Now, of course, this is dependent on your ability to produce these items. Some people can't fully understand that. But if you have production capacity, you have design capacity, you're using POD, or you can physically make these products, the more Christmas products you put into uh, Etsy, the more sales you're going to make. The traffic is massive for Christmas, and you've simply got to take advantage of it and list more items. And look, if you can't do 30, 40, 50 items, just list as often as you can, um, preferably one a day for a period of time coming into Christmas to maximize those sales. Because remember, all the sales that you make through quarter four into Christmas, the more sales you make in there, the higher up your score will be for visibility in the following year, 2024. The winners on Etsy are the sellers that understand Q4 is a catapult or trampoline to more visibility the following year, simply because it's a gold mine of customers wanting to buy stuff for Christmas. You've got to grab those sales. You've got to be in there and you've got to get them. And the only way to get them is to have more items for sale, match those search queries and get those sales. So I hope that makes sense. Again, if you need any help, ask me in the comments. Now, another thing we all know by now, or you should know by now, that Etsy decided to change the orientation of photos in your listing so it's now square. Now I'm working with clients all the time and I'm seeing listings in my client stores and when I look on Etsy, sellers haven't updated their photography. So items are off to the size, they're squashed up towards the top, they're cut off, products are cut off. You need to attend to your photos and make them square as soon as you possibly can. Yes, it's an absolute nightmare. Yes, it's Etsy's fault. Some bright spark decided that no, 5-4 orientation no longer is the right thing to do. And apparently, we're all going to make more money with square photos. So we've just got to suck this one up and, and get our orientation to be square so that the products sit front and center. You may need to zoom the product in slightly, or you may need to reframe the sizing. A good place to do that if you want to easily uh, change the, the sizing and you're not quite sure how to do it, Canva. Canva is really good for that. It allows you to resize uh, photos, but I do believe it's only on the pro option of Canva. So if you've got pro, you can do it. Um, otherwise, you might have to pay for it. Might be worth it because it's easy. It's an easy way to resize photos. So looking at Christmas, the main things to remember is it's a numbers game. Traffic doubles and more than doubles coming into Christmas. If you don't take advantage of, or advantage of that traffic, you don't make those sales and get that extra revenue coming into your store. Let me give you another easy way to boost the size of your store. So you can do twisting. There's something called twisting, and this is especially easy if you're a digital seller or you're a print on demand seller. So if you sell digital and POD and you've got products, say you've got wall decal, wall decals, for example, so prints, uh, stickers for people to put on their walls. All you've got to do is change the name, change the color, change the size, change the, change the design a little bit, and then you've got a new product. Duplicate, change a little piece of the product, change a little piece of the design, the color, and then you've got a new product. Ordinarily, throughout the year, using this tactic, it's not a great tactic to use because it's basically the same product with a different color and this just doesn't work that well. However, at Christmas, when there's so much traffic, it's all hands to the pumps. Anything you can do to make new products, get new designs out there for people to buy, there is a greater chance of making more sales and you should be thinking about how can I twist my products in my store to make more sales. Okay. One more tip to come with this little uh, impromptu video today, and that is when you're running a store with a significant number of items in it, so let's say over 50 items, you've got to go through your listings 
and look at them and see what is working and what is not working. And when we're business owners, and when I talk to clients, a lot of clients don't do this and it really, really surprises me. You've got to look at the items that are working and push into those areas in your Etsy store. Actually think, ah, this design is working, this color is working, um, this texture or product style is working, this necklace is working, and you've got to start making more items in the areas that are working in your store. I know that sounds crazy simple, but so many people don't do it. They just keep listing all sorts of products. Yes, list products, but start to focus in when the customers tell you, they give you the signals, this is selling, this is selling, this is selling. Start making more of those items and you will sell more, you will get more sales velocity, more quality score into your store, raising the visibility of everything in your store. And that is the goal at a business level, product level, as an Etsy seller. So keep that in mind as you're, as you're making products for Christmas. Push into the areas that are working and don't make products for the areas that aren't working. It's, I know it sounds like common sense, but so many people don't do this. Finally, any questions on anything that I've raised today in this impromptu video, put them in my comments. And as always, there's no excuse not to work with me. I have consultations for five minutes for $25 and a host of other options. Just get in touch with me. I'll work with you, help solve your Etsy store problem. It's my full-time job I do. I've been doing this for eight years, longer than anybody anywhere. And I've got more insight and knowledge uh, on, this, on this subject. So please get in touch and let's work together. Speak to you soon in the next video.